That's Jack Chaplin here, Chaplin's Restaurant, 165 Bank Street, New London, Connecticut. And uh, my friend Bob Jack on camera, Josh, my nephew here working. And uh, years ago, I was a chef of a Swiss Austrian restaurant. And uh, what I do here is I do a, a smoked pork chop. We do a Vermont smoked pork chop. And I serve it over German red cabbage. So I'm going to show you how we do it. Uh, a little bit of oil. Regular salad oil. I put just a little bit of butter. Then I get a we get a just a little bit of a chopped red onion. Chopped red onion. Then we take uh, red cabbage. You gotta be careful when you're cutting cabbage. See? I cut down like that. See? So it cuts in half. Cut the cut the core out. Then I cut it. I like even leave a little bit of core in there. Not too much of the core, but just a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Beautiful spring day here in uh, New London, Connecticut. We. Uh, Came through a real tough winter, and uh, this has really been a winter dish for us. The pork chops I get out of Vermont, and uh, out of the small butcher shop in Vermont, and they smoke it for us. Okay, just brown them a little bit, and pull the cabbage off it. Okay. Okay, then what I do is, we got some uh, raw sugar, some raw sugar. I guess they're about maybe a tablespoon and a half each, two tablespoons each. So do six, so like six tablespoons. I use uh, Regina red wine vinegar, the best you can get in my opinion uh, for red wine vinegar. Let's see. Uh, Think how much? Probably a half a cup. I'm gonna do like a half a cup. Maybe three quarters of a cup of red wine vinegar. Okay. A little bit of salt and pepper. Black pepper. Just a little bit of salt and black pepper. And then uh, good apple cider. If you can get raw, you know, natural, unpasteurized, but well, this is just, uh, it's out of season right now, but probably two cups apple cider. So you got my man Javier over here. Javier, okay. I've here we worked together since what year? 1995. 1995 we worked together down in Texas. But here we go. Second cup. Stir it up real good. And then we'll put that on the back burner. And just let it simmer, let it let it boil. On I kind of keep it up on high till I know that the juice is getting kind of low. And uh so it's kind of dry and the cabbage is cooked down, the vinegar is cooked down, the uh, apple cider is cooked down, it's kind of dry, drier, still not where it's totally dry. And then I'll show you how we'll do the pork chop a little bit later. Okay, we're at Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. We're going to do a smoked pork chop. A friend of mine here at the restaurant here, we're at 165 Bank Street in uh, New London, Connecticut. We'll get some uh, pork chops from Vermont, Cobb smoked. Uh, corn cob smoked, and this is like a this would be like a, a porterhouse. You got the loin, the tenderloin, and you got the sirloin off the uh, pork loin. They smoked the whole loin, and uh, corn cob. So it gives it, it doesn't dry the meat out. It's almost like a ham steak, but uh, really excellent. So put a little butter in the skillet, and. Uh, I'm going to turn the vent over down to some smoke going.
Gonna brown it up real good on uh, Sometimes you get a little piece of fat off the side here. I'll cut that off and put that in the skillet. Okay. And you'll see it's got a natural sugar in it. See the natural sugar caramelizing? That's what you're looking for. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just turn this over. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, here we're gonna finish off the smoked pork chop over German red cabbage. The other red cabbage we cooked earlier. I, I moisten it just a little more apple cider. And we'll pull the uh, pull that smoked pork chop out. That's what we're looking for, that nice color. on the plate. One mashed potato. And I take the take the pork chop out. I always put the meat so it's facing the customer. I dump out any excess grease. I hit it with a apple cider. A little bit of Dijon mustard. A little bit of veal stock. A little bit of veal stock. Make sure you scrape up the dripping. Come on in, Ray. Oh, yeah. Hey Rachel. Hey baby. What's happening? How you doing? What are you making? We're making smoked pork chop, uh, red, red cabbage. Whoa. And, and guess who gets to eat it? Bob Jacko? That's right. That's right. Whoa. What's that in the pan? Now uh, that's some uh, apple cider Dijon au jus. Wow. See? And that's it. That's for you, Bob. Bon appetit. All right, it's Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. My baby girl, Rachel. Well, my older baby girl. Because it was also Lucy. <laughs> but here's uh, 165 Bank Street, Chaplin's Restaurant. Come visit us sometime. Bob, you want that or can I eat it? Uh, it's too bad, Jack. <laughs> You're out of luck today. All right. And I get my man Dino. That's right. D Dean, my hardest working That's man right. in my business right here. All right, Dean Maury. There's Joshua in the background. All right. Bon appetit.